regarding heart. The examiner will ask you, what is this? So, this is heart viscera. Where it lies? It lies in the middle mediastinum or thoracic cavity. Against the second to sixth costal cartilage. Examiner will ask you, tell me about the surfaces of heart. So, it has got a sternocostal surface or anterior surface. This is left surface. This one is inferior or diaphragmatic surface. Here is the posterior surface or base. And this one is apex. Now, the examiner will ask you, tell me the constituent of these surfaces. How these surfaces are made. So, you have to tell sternocostal surface is formed by the contribution of right atrium, one port, right ventricle, two port, and left ventricle, one port. Inferior surface or diaphragmatic surface is formed by right ventricle and left ventricle. Left ventricle, two third, right ventricle, one third. Left surface. Most of it formed by the left ventricle and part by the left auricle. This is left ear life appendage, left auricle. Okay. Now, this is the posterior surface or base. It is formed by the right atrium and left atrium. Contribution, left atrium two-third and right atrium one-third. Okay. And now, apex is only formed by the left ventricle. Now, examiner will ask you, tell me the borders and its extent. So, it has got, heart has got superior border, inferior border, right border and left border. Superior border extends from the right auricle to left <coughs> auricle. Right border, it extends from superior vena cava to the inferior vena cava. Okay? Superior vena caval opening. Here is the superior vena caval opening. Superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. From here to here is the right border. Now, inferior border from the inferior vena caval opening up to the apex. Huh? Up to the apex. And now, left border from the apex to the left auricle. Okay? Now, the examiner will ask you tell me the groove and its content. So, anteriorly, there is, this is atrioventricular group. Right side, right atrioventricular, left side, left atrioventricular group. And in between the two ventricles, this is anterior interventricular group. And the posteriorly, there is posterior atrioventricular group and posterior interventricular group. About the content, Right anterior atrioventricular group, it contains right coronary artery and a small cardiac vein. Where is the? This is left atrioventricular group. It contains left circumflex and great cardiac vein. This is anterior interventricular group and it contains anterior interventricular artery or left descending artery or widow artery. In posterior aspect, this is posterior atrioventricular group and it loses coronary sinus. Where is the posterior interventricular group? It loses posterior interventricular artery or posterior descending artery and plus middle cardiac vein. Okay, tell me the blood supply of heart. So, it is by the right coronary artery and left coronary artery. Right coronary artery, it first gives anonodal artery and then right marginal artery come into posterior aspect and anastomose with the left circumflex. Before giving anastomo, before anastomosing, it gives one more branch that is posterior descending artery. Now, tell me where the apex lies. So, apex lies in the left fifth intercostal space, just medial to the mid clavicular line, 9 cm lateral to the mid sternal line. Okay, now the examiner will ask you what is this? So, you have to tell it is fibrous pericardium and plus parietal layer of serous pericardium. This one, this one. 
okay now tell me the sinuses so here lies this is transverse sinus this is transverse sinus and here lies oblique sinus what is structure lies anterior to the transverse sinus so it is ascending aorta and the pulmonary trunk what a structure lies in front of the oblique sinus it is left atrium this is left atrium and behind that is the oblique sinus the examiner will ask you why this oblique sinus is homologous with the omental bursa or lesser sac because lesser sac give extra space if we eat extra food so the stomach will distend and it will provide extra space in the same way in case of increased venous return left atrium distend and extra space is provided by oblique sinus okay now tell me what is this what is this so you have to tell this is ligamentum arteriosum what is ligamentum arteriosum it is the embryonic remnant of ductus arteriosus now what is ductus arteriosus it is the fetal communication in between the left pulmonary artery and the trunk divide into right and left left pulmonary artery and the arch of aorta huh? so now the examiner will ask you what is this what is this so you have to tell it is a left recurrent laryngeal nerve how you can say that this is left recurrent laryngeal nerve because it hooks around the arch of aorta this is a nerve and here is the vagus nerve in between the trachea and esophagus in the tracheoesophageal loop there runs yahan pe ho gaya na aise is jahan pe is taraf rehta hai aur yahan pe trachea hai aur esophagus hai wahan pe vagus nerve bhi ja raha hai vagus ka ek branch ho gaya yahan left recurrent laryngeal nerve which hooks around the arch of aorta so this is left recurrent laryngeal nerve okay now tell me what is this so this is aorta this is much is ascending aorta now arch of aorta and descending aorta what are the branches of ascending aorta it is the right coronary artery and the left coronary artery what are the branches of arch of aorta it is tracheocephalic trunk and then this is the left common carotid and left subclavian and this is descending thoracic aorta okay now tell me about the interior of the right atrium interior of right atrium the examiner will ask you what is muscular pectin artery it is the horizontally running fiber from interior of the right atrium from a vertical ridge known as crista terminalis so this much this comb like muscle fiber is the muscular pectin artery what else you can show in the right interior of right atrium say so you have to tell this is fossa ovalis this is fossa ovalis fossa ovalis the superior posterior and inferior margin of the fossa ovalis is very prominent which is known as limbus fossa ovalis so what is this what is fossa ovalis so it is the embryonic remnant of foramen ovale which is a communication in between the right atrium and the left atrium in the fetal period okay now what else you can show me in the interior of right atrium so it is the atrioventricular opening from the right atrium to the right ventricle my finger is passing from here and here is the superior vena cava opening and this is inferior vena cava opening and here is the coronary sinus this opening is coronary sinus here lies the coronary sinus now ye coronary sinus hai Uh, what is coronary sinus the examiner will ask you what is coronary sinus all the vein of heart will drain into the coronary sinus uh, so now tell me the exception of uh, which do not drain into the coronary sinus so you have to anterior cardiac vein which open uh, in the right atrium but by the separate uh, minute opening that is known as vena cordae minimi hmm? and uh, what is cox triangle so you have to tell is a triangular area in the interior of right atria which is superiorly which is superiorly bounded by 
a ridge which is known as tendon of todaro the anteriorly it is bounded by base of septal valve this is septal valve and base of septal valve this is posterior anterior septal here this is septal valve base of septal valve here is the tendon of todaro and this is coronary sinus this opening is coronary sinus so anterior border of coronary sinus this triangle is cox triangle okay superiorly tendon of todaro posteriorly here is the anterior border of coronary sinus and inferiorly or uh, there is the base of septal valve leaflet so what is the clinical significance of this triangle so you have to tell here av node lies so where as a node lies so you have to tell it is lies it lies on the superior aspect of sulcus terminalis which is which lies just against the crista terminalis on the exterior aspect this is sulcus terminalis and on the superior aspect of which as a node lies tell me the conducting system of heart so as a node then av node then av bundle uh and then right and left bundle branch and then purkinje yeah, fiber yeah. now what is trabeculi carni so you have to tell this rough part of the ventricle both side right as well as left is formed by a muscle fiber which is known as trabeculi carni eh? what are the types of trabeculi carni so you have to tell it is ridge bridge and pillar show me the example of ridge bridge and pillar so Uh, in the right atrium, this is the tendon of Todaro. So this is the example of ridge because it is attached bo at both in as well as in the middle. Okay. Now this is pillar, papillary muscle is pillar which is attached at one end, huh? and at another end it receives the separate structures. and this is the posterior now anterior this is anterior papillary muscle hmm? and this is torn from the uh, from the septum one this is septo marginal band which is going to the anterior papillary muscle from the interventricular septum septo marginal band from to the anterior papillary muscle this one is anterior papillary muscle and at the base of the anterior papillary muscle this is our septo marginal band ha huh? okay so uh, now now tell me what is the use of transverse sinus so because cardiothoracic surgeon used to give uh, ligature over there in order to do cardiothoracic surgery and it is shifted to the two tubes are inserted into the ascending aorta and pulmonary trunk and the work of heart is shifted to the heart and lung is to the heart and lung machine okay now uh, what is the difference in between the thickness of right ventricle and the left ventricle so right ventricle is one third of that it is this is uh, left ventricle here is the left ventricle it is three times thicker than the right ventricle ye right ventricle hai ye thin hai aur left ventricle thick hai ye three times thicker hai theek hai now tell me the lumen the the lumen of the ventricle so right ventricle it is semi lunar where is the left ventricle it is circular why because interventricular shift, uh, septum is shifted to us like this. it is not straight it is somewhat shifted to us the right ventricle so it is a space is semi lunar whereas this space is circular uh what is crux of heart crux of heart is the meeting point of the posterior interventricular groove and the posterior atrioventricular group this is our crux of heart what do you mean by coronary dominance coronary dominance is of which uh, from which coronary artery posterior descending artery is arising in 80% of cases it is arising from the right coronary artery so posterior descending artery 
So it is the right coronary dominance in 80% of cases. Why posterior descending artery is so special? Because it supplies the posterior two-third of the interventricular septum as well as the posterior surface and the inferior surface of the heart ah, as well as AV node. Itna chich ko supply karta hai posterior descending artery. Isle wo jada important hai. Isle wo kiska branch hai? Ye bahut important hai. Right coronary artery ka hai? To posterior. Right coronary dominance. Which is bad? Left coronary dominance or right coronary dominance? Left yeah. coronary dominance. Because it is, uh, uh, in this case, it is arising anterior interventricular and the posterior interventricular artery both arising from same mother branch. Huh? That uh, both are the branches of left coronary artery. Okay? Now, tell me the non-coronary sinus. It is right posterior. Hmm? Right posterior is the RIP se yaad rakhoge, is the non-coronary sinus from which no coronary artery is arising. Uh, tell me the um, significance of this corda tendine. What is this? This is corda tendine. Tell me the significance uh, that it is arising from the papillary muscle, arising from the papillary muscle at one end, and it is going to the cusp of AV ball. And the peculiar thing is about that one papillary muscle give attachment to the corda tendine of two adjacent ball. Not it is restricted to one ball, it gives attachment to two adjacent ball. That's why its contraction lead to closure of the ball. Huh? Now what is this? What is this? This, this pocket. What is this? So you have to tell this is the semilunar ball. Huh? Okay. This is the pulmonary trunk and this is semilunar ball. What is the difference between the AV ball, this is AV ball and this is semilunar ball. In AV ball, it lies in between the atria and ventricle and there is the semilunar ball in the commencement of aorta and the pulmonary trunk. The AV ball give attachment to the corda tendine, where is the semilunar ball do not, okay. AV ball, uh, it do not present lunule and nodule. Now, give attention here. This is semilunar wall. In the middle, there is a nodular part. It's somewhat thickened. Nodule. And the margin of which is known as lunule. L-U-N-U-L-E. Lunule. Where is the centrally thickened part is nodule. So nodule and lunule is present in case of semilunar wall, which is absent in case of AV wall. What is this? What is this? So you have to tell it is the valve of foramen ovale, which uh, lies on the interior aspect of left atria. 